four and let's set it to zero okay center of the ball then it is set to zero now and also every time we start and we press the start we want to set it to zero that's it so we will set the score well now here every time we have this okay the score text we are going to increase the value And plus the score every time we have this kind of collation okay and we can have like lives or something but I guess in this case we are going to make it just with like um, the limited will be just the time so in this case you have like And home um, two thousand. Mm -hmm. Let's say fifteen. Like fifteen seconds to play the game. And we need to activate this when we press start, of course. So here we can duplicate this. Two, and that's it. And what clock two is activated. We are going to reset the values. We are going to center the ball. And we are going to move right ball in. Center the ball more, the red ball. Yes, we are going to start for red points with the ball in initial position, and we are going to disable the clocks. We are not going to reset the score because we are going to do when we press start. I guess that's quite okay. So let's add the red position C setting. And um, uh, yeah, that is another thing. If we haven't pressed start, okay, let's say that the initial value for balls. These are the same. So we cannot we are going to enable them. Until we start the game, good ball and the evil red ball. Able, false, false. And the one who is going to enable them is the start button. Both of them, true, true, true. And I guess. We have the basic idea of this mini game. So let's check again the blocks. So we have the initial values. We center the ball. This is like the initial values for the, the normal for the good ball. Okay. These are the initial values for this one, and then we have the positions for the red ball that we are going to use during the game, so it will appear in these positions. ETH is rich, okay? We are going to what it will happen. ETH is rich. We are going to add. No, here is a mistake. This goes here. 
sorry my mistake if the edge is rich we are going to call center the good ball again it will have the ball appears in the center well not in the center in the initial position okay so flank and we, the way we throw the ball how we move the ball the, the evil ball moving the evil red ball to a random position from this list then we have the score well this is the list okay this is garbage and then we check the errors what ah, if they collide well the good ball collide okay we are going to change position we're going to move this one and we're going to add score and also I was I have to center again the good ball yes and remove the speed yes I was missing that part then we enable the clock to move the ball remember it will move and appear and disappear appear and disappear then here we have the timer tool that is will give just the game over so we center the moving red one in position and we disable the clocks okay so let's check this in the app we press start and we have an error oh I mean to this is because we need to we haven't add anything to this so we are just going to refresh yes 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 let's see press start the ball is changing but I am not winding Interesting. I just can plunk. Plunk. Good go. Ah, this is the problem. The good ball enabled to. But this doesn't go here. Again, my mistake. But this is when we press start. The good ball is enabled, the evil. Okay, and when we finish the game. And we finish the game. We disable them. Press start. Start button. Enables them. That's it. And the ball is not moving because when we collide with the center, we move moving the evil red ball. After we finish the time. And when we finish the time, we have 
have to disable both bolts. That's it.